Hello, hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your June 2018 overview reading. This is good for you if you are a sun, moon, or rising Aquarius. And I know that normally I do um, lay out the entire spread on camera, but this one, is, it's just too large and I have to fiddle around with it too much. So I laid it out ahead of time to save us a little bit of time today. And um, the other thing, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to every single one of you who has been working with me in one-on-one -on -one sessions, in ordering tarot spreads and single question readings. It has been a blast getting to know each and every one of you, and it is such an honor. And let's see, don't forget if you have any questions about which decks I'm using, I always put them in the description box. So just check there and they're all listed out for you. Okay, and so I'm going to start with an affirmation card. We have whew, manifestation. Okay, I'm going to have to read this aloud. Whew. If you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and get greedy. If you're holding... You're, you, good Lord, you are holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. Could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud, you're actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true? Or is it just that in a very practical sense, the more people you speak with about your desires, the more folks you have there who are, who know what you want and might have the means to help you make them happen? Either way, stop waiting and start manifesting. But don't use that word if you don't want to. So no matter what you call it, this was a mouthful, uh, whatever you call it, it's just about setting the intention because it's not, it's not magic, right? I mean, if you like that and it, it excites you, then that's awesome. But really, it's about shifting your focus so that you can cultivate what you focus on. That's what intention setting is about. And if you focus on it, it's going to grow, it's going to magnify, and that's what you're going to see. Okay, now it's truth bomb time for Aquarius. Let's see what's coming up for everybody. Your life purpose is what you say it is. I forget, another sign got this, but I absolutely love it because it's about you claiming it. This is about, you don't have to feel lost. You don't have to like wait for a life purpose to just fall in your lap. Some people do have that, okay? It's kind of like, I, I was definitely fortunate in that way where I, it, this just kind of fell into my lap. Whereas um, other people, you know, take their time or want to dabble and explore. Other people, you know, it it's all, we all go through it differently. So it's just about you claiming it for yourself. It may not be something that just fell into your lap. It might be something that you have to search for. But whatever fills you up and excites you and makes you want to get out of bed in the morning is worth pursuing. So remember that you can absolutely claim what you want to do and that be it and that be your purpose. Regardless of whether or not you make money from it, you can have a purpose outside of um, something that is monetarily fulfilling or maybe that is by necessity what you want your purpose to be. It's totally up to you. And then I'm going to pull an animal card, a spirit animal card for you. We have the fox. Okay, so the the words that are coming up are, you know, like clever, like uh problem solving, figuring things out, being quick with um, kind of like going with your gut is going to be a really good choice in June. Um, if you're on the fence or if you find yourself thinking yourself into paralysis, then just trust feeling. Because uh, that's kind of, if you think about the way foxes exist, a lot of the time they have to do that. They have to navigate just purely off of um, reaction. You don't always want to do that, but it seems like if you can just get a little bit of that this month, it's going to help um, in terms of your 
action, your decision making. It's going to be really, really supported by going with your gut. Okay, so the way that this spread is, it's based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So it doesn't have as many layers um, for the sake of time and space. But this layer is all about resources. So money, shelter, sleep, taking care of your body. Uh, but resources are big, like what you need to feel like your best self. So let's see what's coming up for you. We have the two of pentacles. Again, how you make decisions is going to make a big difference this month. And how you make decisions is kind of like, what are you leading with? Um, what are you, how, how are you making choices? Are they coming from fear? Are they coming from desperation? Are they coming from, you know, giving things a lot of forethought? This is more about you've taken the time to analyze quite a bit and it's more so about um, now finding a methodology that works for you, even if you have to do a little bit of exploring with that. But you're gonna have decisions that come up this month um, that are going to kind of test that. And then you have the Six of Wands. This is the victory card. So it's not like you can't get what you want or you're stuck. This is going to um, also be impacted by, do you think you can do it? Belief is so powerful. So don't forget that your, um, your thoughts and, and your feeling like, yeah, I can do it, or no, this is never gonna happen. If you're already writing the script and saying, no, it's not gonna happen, then what do you think is gonna happen? So it's, it's just about, again, setting your intention, manifesting, uh, claiming the things that you want um, in terms of resources and deciding that you can do it. That's half of it. Half of it is belief. Then there's action. Then, the, you know, and then circumstances is this itty bitty little sliver in the macro sense. Okay, anyway, I'm going on a rant. Let's move on. Now we have a four of swords. This is about, um, gosh, it's, it's interesting. It's almost like you might benefit from not writing so many pros and cons lists. <laughs> That's kind of what's coming up is it just like if everything turns out to be a black hole of overthinking and overanalyzing, it might cause some paralysis and some exhaustion. I'm going to clarify the Four of Swords to see what's coming up there. Five of Pentacles. It's okay. So this is what's happening. When you take too much time to think about it, when you, uh, when you lose the motivation to take action or do something that would make you feel good or put you in touch with resources that you need, if you think about it long enough, you're going to come up with a laundry list of reasons why you shouldn't do it. Re problems that could occur. That's what your brain is designed to do. It's supposed to protect you and help you figure out what could go wrong. But that's actually going to be more of an issue in June. You don't want to overthink it when it comes to resources and taking care of yourself. It's okay for you to not write a pros and cons list every time. It's okay for you to um, be a little bit more spontaneous and try to do things a little bit differently. It just looks like there's a lot of contemplation going on, but you have six of wands. You don't have to overthink it. You can get more done if you pursue it and take action. And then we have strength. Okay, so things are working in your favor. You have things that are showing up and they're there to support you, whether it be a support system, a windfall of money, um, a new opportunity, um, time and space to nourish yourself. You, you have the support, but you have to allow it in. Okay, so this next tier is about relationships in all ways, shapes, and forms. So if there's one that you're asking about in particular, you can set the intention for a romantic or familial or platonic relationship, um, but that's all lumped together in this area. So first, we have the fool. 
setting off on something new, doing things completely differently, um, unlike you have ever done them before. So this is really, really exciting. It's true whether or not you're in a relationship, it's true within a family dynamic, um, friendship dynamic, this is all about turning a new leaf. So think about the way that you were doing things before, this is saying scrap it, we're starting fresh. This is a blank slate. And this is the best time and place to be because now you have the ability to turn this into whatever you want. It, your story is, you write your own story, so to speak. And then secondly, we have two of swords. Sitting in the unknown is, I mean, if you're like me, you don't like it. Um, but some people really, really, this excites them. Uh, but this can also be one of the, the scariest things about relationships and moving forward and all of that is, is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? Am I going to be okay? Is this situation going to work out? is it's just all the questions that you have. If they don't have answers, it can inspire fear. So this is about learning to hold on to your optimism, right? Even though your brain is going to be doing its best to prepare you for things that don't go your way and things that could happen, um, you can also instill a practice that is going to help you stay more present and lean on the resources that you do have and the support system you do have. And then finally, we have the lovers. Okay, so this is connection. I would say, you know, obviously this is a great omen if you're in a relationship, but this is also about union, connection, um, collaboration, what is coming up for you that you need more of? And that's going to be accessible to you in June. Okay, so it's like this This even applies if you're focusing on family. Is that really being supported and taken care of? All of that is going to be coming for you in June. And then this is the Knight of Pentacles in a normal deck. Okay, so for some of you, this might be translating as a person. It might be um, an earth sign, right? Like that's the most basic interpretation of that card. But this is also telling me that the most supportive people in your space this month, no matter what relationship it is, are going to be, are there going to be people with a lot of earth in their chart? So your Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn friends are here to help. And it seems like they actually ground out a lot of the uncertainty. They can, um, <clears throat> you know, that's coming up with the Two of Swords and the contemplation you have here in the resources, the the I don't knows, what if this goes wrongs, um, <laughs> all of that stuff coming up. It seems like uh, practical people are your best friends this month. So, um Lean on them for any type of support that you need, and that is going to make your month a little bit brighter. And so this this tier, I've been calling it the ego tier. So how you're seen in the world, um, permission to be here, your personal sense of autonomy and individuality. We have the high priestess. So this looks good. Ooh, I like this card. I like all the, the eyes on the dress. Okay, so you really do have a strong understanding of how you want to be seen and what you want to project into the world. I think it's about putting it into practice. And you're still in the works around... Um, how can you embody what you want to project? That is still something that takes time and takes practice. And so if you're not getting it right away, don't worry about it. I think that this is more of a time to um, lean on support and, and work with the resources stuff that I've been talking about. Um, 
you know, trying to calm down the overly analytical part of yourself. You know, Aquarians are very imaginative and, you know, can go <clears throat> a thousand miles a minute sometimes. And that's that's a huge gift. But if it's channeled um, unproductively, then it's not helpful. <laughs> so it's just about trying to keep tabs on that. And then we also have the world. So again, it, you're able to see the big picture, but it, it seems like you have bigger fish to fry rather than focusing on self-image um, and things that are more concerned with like interpersonal perceptions. And, and this is more of the... Um, it's kind of like the way the entire purpose of this pyramid is you need the base layers taken care of in order to achieve these fully. So it seems like you need to take care of this. It's going to make you feel more grounded and supported rather than pouring energy into how am I seen? How am I um, being received by the world? We all question that, but it seems like if you get this worked out, then this is gonna come into clarity and you're gonna figure it out naturally. Okay, and then this is your higher self. This is self-actualization. We have the devil. Let me clarify this. I know I, I actually really, really like that devil card, but I'm going to clarify it. You know what's interesting? I'll show this to you because something is coming up. You see, the thing that's standing out most about this is her mask. And it's all about w these things that are showing up. And when I saw this, it's not a surprise that you have this showing up because again, you got to take care of this first in order for um, like self-actualization to take place. This is more about what are you revealing to others? How is that showing up for you? Um, are you hiding from yourself? Are there parts of you that you're resistant to seeing or resistant to looking at? Um, because this isn't, it seems like there's a part of you that's more inclined to not be yourself out of fear. Let me, I'm going to clarify it right now. Okay. Clarity for the devil. We have the 10 of pentacles. Yeah, this is, this is saying, don't worry about it. Focus on foundation. Focus on foundation. Focus on um, being, being stable with resources as best as you can, depending on um, the people and relationships that you can depend on, uh, building a support system, and more of, again, more of the tangible, more of the responsibility stuff is going to give you a stable platform to start to work on all of that. But you need to make sure that this is taken care of first, that you have good people around you. That's going to be big. And I also see with the 10 of pentacles, that's why the lovers has a clarifier of earth signs. Earth signs are going to help because they are the natural planners of the zodiac. Those are the people who can give this structure and kind of help you to work it out and at the very least model it. Okay, so you can kind of take pointers from your earth sign friends. Okay, so that is all that I have for the core reading and now I'm going to get into the timeline. If you are new to my channel, the way I do this, this is the first quarter, so where you start off June second, third, and fourth quarter, so like the fourth week where you wrap up the month. So first we have the chariot. I like this card. I have not pulled this for pulled this before. Um, you are like trailblazing right now. It This reminds me of the fool in a lot of ways because it's just about accelerated forward movement not even looking back, just I'm going to move forward, I'm going to blast through this and make XYZ happen. It's just full force. And a lot of signs, if you watch your all your sun, moon, rising signs, um, 
it is something that has been coming up quite a bit about people having an extra push of motivation at the beginning of June. And so you are not an exception. It looks like things, the month starts off really clear and really intentional. Let me see what happens. And then we have the Dreamer of Vials. Um, I think this is the Page of Cups. Um, I don't remember what Dreamer, Mystic, they're all different in this. But it looks to me like the Page of um, the Page of Cups. So new emotional, it's like emotional lessons, emotional healing. This is all about vulnerability. This is all about being seen. Um, and it's kind of like dabbling in, what is the word I'm looking for? It's There's something about emotional experimentation with this card. I'm going to clarify it. Three of Swords, it's kind of like you have to push yourself and challenge yourself because you may have been burned before. If you're locked up really tight or if you're scared to move on, it's probably because of a past experience. This isn't an indication that this is oncoming because I pulled this as clarity for like what's, what's going on and it seems like you're just kind of dipping your toe in the water around um, being received, being witnessed. All of that stuff is coming up because it's really hard if you show somebody or um, a group or even your family who you really are and you're rejected, that is one of the most traumatizing things and you can actually withdraw because of that. And it can be kind of hard to bounce back from, but it seems like you're taking it slow and you're just dipping your toe in the water. And then third quarter, we have the nurturer. So this is the empress. Having compassion is something that you're going to be able to do quite easily and organically. We all have to have compassion for ourselves, for our past mistakes, for not handling things the way we would now. Um, because your younger self didn't have all of the lessons and understanding that your current self does. And so the more compassion you can have for your younger self, the easier June is going to be. And it seems like you do that pretty pretty well in the third quarter. It seems like there's a, um, a really natural um, understanding of that. And then wrapping up June, we have the 10, this is also the 10 of pentacles. Do you see the way that this card is? It's like looking all the way down. Um, you have the perspective of this is what I want big picture. You get to tap into that more. And this is why it came up. Don't don't worry about the devil in the higher self. It's just saying this, if you get too introspective on it, it becomes a distraction. Focus on this. Focus on what you want to build. This is going to fall into place. And that comes into clarity by the end of the month. I think you have a really good idea on what you want. That makes way more sense by the end of June. So don't worry if you're feeling uncertain, if you're feeling resistant, if you're feeling confused, whatever is coming up for you, <clears throat> this looks like the month is going to get better and better and better. Okay, and now as usual, we have a three card pick. So you are welcome to pick a card before I flip them over. After I flip them over, you can ask a question. You cannot. Whatever you like. Okay. So card number one. <clears throat> Six of Swords. What are you leaving behind? Because now you're moving into a brighter future. This is going to be the time that you're making the most movement. It's not a surprise that it's sitting on top of the fool because that is also about um, really progressing. Like you're, you're 
facing some really serious personal evolution. Your um, operating system is under construction and you're having to depend on doing things that you've never done before it, from an emotional standpoint and from a creation standpoint. So all of this looks good because it's, it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you... Um, it's just, it's really going to be a game changer, June is. And then for card number two, we have the Eight of Cups. Now, this is a perspective change. So the way that you, the way that you've done things is being completely shaken up. Every single experience that you've had is kind of being called into question not it's not a bad thing it's just that you're able to reflect back on the experiences that you've had and start asking questions more and more questions about whether or not that was um true or just an old belief system you were operating from and then card number three we have the ace of wands initiation fire 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 here um creative projects are coming up if you if this card really resonates with you painting drawing creative um creative expression of any kind knitting um writing even journaling if you're not you know if you're not into any artwork or anything particularly creative find what works for you and just lean on that as an outlet okay so that is all that i have for you this um for this reading i hope that you've enjoyed this reading thank you thank you thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell if you would like to get notifications from me on when i am when readings come out and don't forget all of the decks are in the description all the links to work with me are in the description and i appreciate every single one of you thank you thank you thank you aquarius i will see you next time